Hi, man. You know, uh, you can search the internet and find any results for anything you would like. Uh, it doesn't prove anything. It just proves that uh, there's somebody with a concerted effort to try to make 9-11 conspiracy people look crazy. Um, wake up. Just because you find it and you can read it on the screen doesn't make it true. Why don't you stick to uh, things like physics? Um, why don't you go to the uh, website Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth? That's a great website. Or, hmm, I don't know. Um, you explain to me how a 110-story building can collapse in 10 seconds. No, wait. Explain to me how two 110-story buildings collapse in 10 seconds. That's very interesting. Um, this completely violates at least four laws of physics and it's high school physics that's what really makes me laugh okay explain to me how two planes can destroy three buildings what about building seven okay um oh I know board of proof lies on the conspiracy theorist yeah okay um that's basically all I got to say to you I enjoy the rest of your sitting there and looking up things on Google and Gord. Oh, I'm so right. I'm so right. I'm so right. Oh, yeah, you're so right. Um, how about look up Colonel Bob Bowman? He had an office in the Pentagon. He was in charge of all our space-based weapons for two presidential administrations. Just type Colonel Bob Bowman 911 Truth and he will tell you all about our air defense system and how it was impossible for him, for him to react that way that morning. Or how about the testimony of William Rodriguez? William Rodriguez heard a bomb go off in the basement of the World Trade Center. I personally met the guy, okay? He heard a, an explosion go off in the basement of the World Trade Center that pushed the building upward before the first plane hit. Incidentally, yes, his testimony should be um, uh, paid attention to, can't be debunked, because he was actually in the building in 1993 when another bomb blew up, so he knows exactly what an explosive sounds like. Okay, um, what about the firemen, okay? Um, what about the firemen talking about bombs in the building? I, 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 got, I got something for you to do a Google search for, and I dare you to read this aloud. Okay, I want you to type, Oral Histories of 9-11, The New York Times, Pay your couple dollars to read it and scroll down to page four. You'll find your very first bomb reference or explosion. A lot of them say bombs or explosions, not I heard a bang, okay, of which there are hundreds of references. How come you're cherry picking through stuff and not actually talking about anything that might support um, the idea of a conspiracy theory. Okay, when I try to find out so if something is true or not, I like to read both sides of an issue and try to find a middle ground. I know that's probably impossible for someone who is narrow-minded as you, but i just like to throw that information out there just in case you'd like to hear it. Okay, enjoy the rest of your smug glib sitting there talking crap about people who have legitimate questions. Oh, incidentally, Here's one for you. I, a lot of you people talk about, oh, well, what what could be possibly be the motive for us attacking ourselves? Okay, do a Google search for this, man. Okay, Don Rumsfeld, that's Donald Rumsfeld, Secretary of Defense at the time of 9-11, gets on TV September 10th, 2001, and announces, announces that the Pentagon has misplaced 2.3 trillion dollars the day before 9-11. Oh, what a great coincidence. So, because of the timing of 9-11, the Pentagon get to keep a misplaced $2.3 trillion. Okay, why don't you look at people in Congress and Senate and people in the know that talk, uh, talk about 9-11 truth? Like, for instance, how about Andreas von Bülow, uh, ex-German defense minister? Or, how about Congresswoman... Cynthia McKinney, she's running for president right now. Um, how about Congressman Ron Paul from Texas? Um, Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Hmm. Yeah, all these people must be uh, crazy, right? Uh, that's all I like to say. Oh, and don't forget to look up the New York Times oral history of 9/11 because there are literally 
hundreds of references to explosions. Okay, and jet fuel does not melt steel. Okay, uh, two 110 story buildings cannot collapse in 10 seconds. Not on this planet, not with our gravity. Okay, no way, no how. One 110 story building cannot collapse on this planet in 10 seconds. There's just no way. Okay, I'm not just saying there's no just no way. There are physics graphs that you could look at. Okay, um, j just just look at graphs and tables, man. Fuck. I mean, you people are so adamant about defending the government's official story. I bet you don't even own a copy of the 9/11 Commission report. I own two of them. Okay, if you would like, I will send you one in the mail. Okay. I'll pay the postage. I would like you to read it. You, it was a purely a political report. Okay, it's not even... Okay, y you think there's a government official story? There's not even a, a government official story. There's a government official conspiracy theory. The 9-11 Commission report wasn't even a real investigation. It wasn't really a formal investigation. No one had to swear under oath that what they were saying is to be true. It was called an informal inquiry or an exhibition. Okay, the largest act of terrorism in the history of America. Okay. And they they wait freaking 400 days before they even start an informal inquiry what more do you want I mean what more do you want okay I don't know what exactly happened on that day but I definitely know what didn't I know that jet fuel and airplanes did not cause an explosion in the basement before the first plane hit I definitely know that okay I know that buildings do not collapse horizontally, alright? If you take a ruler and freeze frame the collapse of the North or the South Tower, uh, halfway through the collapse, that's at about five, but, you know, about five seconds, and measure uh, the horizontal uh, ejections, okay? Take that as a reference point, okay? Then rewind the collapse of the buildings and measure from the bottom to the top. It's an equal distance from the the ejection points horizontally then uh, from the top of the building to the bottom of the building that's a physical impossibility I dare you to do it make a video about it okay wake up just because someone asks questions doesn't mean they're crazy okay okay bye now